Hello, welcome to my channel. Yeah, this one's going to be out there again. Not because of how she went missing, but the Jane Doe that I've chosen is kind of out there to try to fit it into being her. But this is Cheryl Lynn Valentini. She went missing in 1997. See how she wears the, the round rimmed glasses? And she was 5'9", 130 pounds. Brown hair, hazel eyes. Doesn't list any tattoos, right? She was using her living boyfriend's pickup truck. She had to go to the Tri-Cities area. She had, I think it was about trying to get her kids back or some kind of custody hearing or something. And she never made it. And then they found the truck. And the truck wasn't that far from where she left. And it had her purse and her ID inside. So, where's she going to go without a person or ID? Well, nowhere. So, you think her body would be found in that area, right? Um, this is the area. This is the area where she left, and this is the area where the truck was found. So, you would think her body would be right in this area somewhere. And, let's see. So, this is where she was supposed to go, but she never made it. Was she going alone? So, I don't know. So, she only made it. I don't know if she picked up a hitchhiker or if she was going alone. I don't know what happened. Maybe she stopped for gas and somebody grabbed her. I don't know. So, now if she was going to Canada, right? And let me go back. So she was going, she was supposed to go, it was a five hour drive, right? But if she was going to Canada, that's also a five hour drive. And we have this Jane Doe, but it's a couple years later. Her hair is dark, like it, like it looks dyed to me. It doesn't look a natural color, but that's just my thoughts on it. Cause I think it's that lady, this, she wore round silver framed glasses. She five, she's five foot 10, 141 pounds between 30 and 49 years old no tattoos brown hair and hazel eyes right it says dark brown but i think maybe she dyed it but i don't know it looks kind of like her she jumped off an overpass nobody knows who she is did she really jump mm, i don't know and i don't know if it's this lady or not but I don't know, and I don't know what her natural hair color is. She could lighten her hair color, and her hair color could be dark, because I can't tell. I only have the one photo. But there she is with those round rim glasses. She has hazel eyes. She has no tattoos. She's 33 years old. She's 5'9", 130 pounds. And then if it's been a couple years, could this have been her? I don't know really don't know it's a little far-fetched but i couldn't you know i'm looking in washington i'm looking in oregon i'm looking in canada i'm looking in idaho because these are the places close by and that was the only thing i could find so i thought well i'm um, either leave it out or i leave it in so i decided to leave it in and then there's also like i did a name of search and there's a lot of people in the name of search that fit her description if i don't put all the details in there and this one was in Colorado because most of them are really far away. And I don't know what her teeth look like. I don't know if this could be her. I don't know how she would have gotten to Colorado. But I don't think it's her. But I put it in here anyway just so you could see. Because like I said, I found all these ones. And this was the closest one, I think, was the Colorado one. So... I don't know. Please feel free to leave some comments and let me know what you think. Oh, this has six of them. Um, yeah, I don't know. Florida, Florida, Colorado, Virginia, Ohio, Texas. So you see what I mean? Anyway, maybe they haven't found her remains yet and maybe they're right there in this area. But I don't know, you know, please feel free to leave comments and let me know what your thoughts are. I love getting comments. It, it 
it makes me feel like I'm communicating with people. And I don't really get out of the house much. So getting your comments is like talking to people, right? And also don't forget to pray for her loved ones and her family. And don't forget to pray for this one's loved ones and family. And if you have any information, whether you feel like it's second-hand information, hearsay, you don't know if it's true, somebody was drinking and talking, you heard it from a relative, you heard it from a friend of a friend of a friend, give them the information. Email them. Email them, CC a couple of people so you know that one of them got the information and let them know. Let them decide, is this relevant? Is this important? Will this help our case? Let them have the information. Then you don't have to worry about it anymore. And it's off your shoulders and it's not a burden to you. And then it goes to them. So um, thanks so much for tuning in and have a great day. Bye-bye.